Hello and welcome to another stream. My name is Ray and it is Learning Korean with Ray, day 55. So, today we will do a little recap of lesson 6 uh, that we have learned yesterday or that we went through yesterday. And then we will do all the practice videos for lesson 6. So that's the main part of today's stream. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so let's just start. So here is my... I hope, yes, that's correct, okay. So here we have our howtostudykorean.com and we go to lesson 6 again and we will do a small recap of what we have learned yesterday honorifics okay so we had these three forms added to the form that we already know, which is the plain form. And uh, here we have the conjugations. So that uh, that is the present tense for the verbs. We have all the three new forms here. And I really have to remember this one. This one is one of the hardest, I think. So low, inform low respect for present tense. Because you can add or a or your to the stem okay or a or your to the stem okay then he, here we do basically the same just we add your in the end and for the formal high respect we add nun or n like the plain form uh, no, no, wait. Th this is the plain form, and we add just this. So, m nida or like sim nida. Okay, now we go to the past tense. Past tense is ot da or at da or yotta. Mm, that was in lesson five, but now for the inform low respect. We also, oh, we, we yeah, we don't say uh, otta, we add otto or osso, osso, or instead of atta, we add asa, uh, aso, always o, okay, always o, instead of the da. Okay, uh, this this is again with yo in the end, nothing special. Future te uh, or no formal high respect first. Here instead of da we add simni da every time. So this is pretty easy as well. Mm. Future chants uh, for the plain form we had uh, ket da, and now we have keso, keso yo. Or kesimnida. So future is really the easiest conjugation. And then we went through all these. Uh, we went through one table for mokta, for to eat. Mm. Yeah, and we, we did not do the other two. We went to adjectives. Or th that's what, where we stopped yesterday. So let's let's read this. They are exactly the same way as verbs. The major difference in conjugating adjectives and verbs is when conjugating the most basic form, so the plain form. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We we learned that already. Okay. I it's not like I remember, but we learned that. Uh. 
you follow the exact same rules. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, so maybe I, I want to do one more of those tables. So I, we did this one yesterday for Mokta. That's a verb. And here are two other ones for verbs. Maybe we go for a we should go for an adjective to really repeat this one more time and then we go to the YouTube lessons, I would say. I think that's the best plan. Oh, irregular conjugation. No, 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 no. We don't do that. Okay, let, let's just do the, this one, okay? Pisada. Pisada is expensive, to be expensive. So... What's going on with my cable here? Okay. So... Yeah, let's do this. So, I will not look at these things, okay? Yesterday I did this with the uh, cropping. I extracted the image and cropped it and so on. I will not do that today. I will just... Maybe... Okay, wait, let, let me do one thing. Hmm. Let me try something here. Okay, give, give me 30 seconds, okay? How about this one? And maybe we do... Now we have two. Okay, let's do it like this, okay? Okay, so... The verb is... Pisada, okay? Pisada. Now we conjugate it through. We go to inform low, uh, inform low, past. Okay. So, we remove the da. We have the stem, which is pisa. Pisa, okay? Pisa. Um, we add at da because it ends in an a. The last vowel is an a, so we add at uh, at da usually for the past form. But in this case, uh, here for this uh, informal law, we add not at da. We add at aso aso aso. So I think the correct past in form low form is P sa P a P sa aso P P sa aso That's what what I think it is P sa Pisaso. Ah, it gets merged. Okay, it gets merged. So it, it's not Pisa Aso because it's two A's. Pisa and then Aso. It gets merged together. So it's like Pisaso. The two A's become one A. Or two A's become one A. Okay, p sa so p sa so 
okay. So informal high is P sus or yo. Okay. Plain form I don't really remember anymore. P sa P sa star. Oh yeah, P sa star. Okay, it's correct actually. Mm. And now formal high. Formal high is uh, Pisa Pisa uh, Pisa Simnida. Yeah. I'm not sure how, how it's pronounced really. The the lower double S. So uh, like this one, the lower letter of that. I'm not sure if it's really an S or if it's a T. So it could be Pisat Simnida. It could also be Pisa Simnida. I don't know. But yeah, we'll continue. So present form should be pretty easy. Uh, no, it's not, it's not easy. So it's pisa pisa. You add an a, but it gets merged, so it just stays pisa. Yeah, just pisa. I say just pisa. Okay. Okay. So whenever there's an R in the end of the stem, you always add an R and the R always gets merged to the stem. So it and R is R, so it always stays the same, you know? Okay. So oh I oh no no no. Like this. <laughs> okay, um so pizza. In from the high, pizza yo. Pizza yo. Yo. Okay, plain form. Pisanda. No? Not pisanda? Why not? Oh, because it's an adjective. You don't add the N or an N. Okay, so it just stays the same. Uh, formal high. Uh, Pisa. Pisa. Pisamnida. Wait. Pisa. Pisamnida. Is it Pisamnida? Yeah, really it is. Okay, Pisamnida. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, now future. Okay, future. Um, can remove this one already. Okay, future. Uh, P, Pisa. Queso. Pisa queso. Pisa queso. Okay, nice. Was correct. Now, pisa queso yo. Pisa queso yo. Pisa queso yo. Okay. Plain form. Uh, pisa keta. Yeah. Uh, formal high P uh, formal high P sa P sa kesimnida P sa kesimnida okay Whew. okay we got it
Okay then, so I would say we are ready for the review videos, right? Or should we do another table? I think review videos should be enough practice, right? We will do a lot of those tables. <laughs> or not, not, we will not really do the whole table, but we will do cells from the table. Many cells from the tables. So let's do it, okay? But before it's conjugation sent uh, practice, it is sentence practice. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I, I'm not really seeing the difference because for the sentence you also have to use the conjugation now, I guess. But we'll find out, let's see. I'm going to prompt you with English sentences based on the grammar from Unit 1, Lesson 6, and it's going to be your job to try to translate these sentences into Korean. In Lessons 1 to 4, you slowly learn how to make more complicated sentences. In Lesson 5, you learn how to start to conjugate those sentences. In Lesson 6, you learn how to apply informal and formal endings to those conjugations. Because Lesson 5 and 6 are not really focused on making more difficult sentences, but instead how to conjugate those sentences, the sentences that we create in this lesson won't be all that complicated because we'll be focusing on the conjugations. I want to remind you that I taught you three new different types of conjugations in Lesson 6, and I called them the informal, low respect, the informal, high respect, and the formal high respect. Also in lesson five, you learn what I call the plain form conjugation. In each case, I'm gonna tell you which conjugation you should use, whether it be this one, this one, or this one. The first sentence I would like you to try to translate is, I cleaned the room. And I would like you to try to conjugate that into the informal high respect. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start. 10 seconds, let's go. Let me enable the... There we go. Let me remove this, okay. One. Okay, I cleaned the room, guys. I cleaned the room in informal high conjugations. It's past tense, informal high. Okay. First, we use, we, we say the I. The, because it's high respect, it is uh, jaw. Jonin. Okay. Jonin, right? Jonin. Um, now we need the object, the room, which is. Uh, Pang. Pang is the object, so Pang. Pangre. Pangre. And now we need the verb, which is clean. Now I have to remember what clean is. It's, I think, uh, Chong Son, something like that. Ch Ch Chong. I think it's this one, uh, Chong Son. Chong Son? I have to look it up because I'm not sure and it makes no sense to conjugate a verb that's not correct. So let's find out. Clean. Well, that, that's not what I learned. Well, that's definitely not it. <laughs> Chong. Why is my Korean not enabled? Okay. Chong. Son. Blue handed. Ah, uh, really? I don't know it anymore. So. <sighs> God damn it. To clean. Chong So Hada. Ah, I was so close. Ah, it's, no, it's not Chong Son, it's Chong So. Ah, so close, man. 
Chong So Cleaning, ja. Hada. To clean. Okay. All correct. Okay, so let's do it. So not son, but only so. Chong So Hada. Okay, so here we have our sentence, which is not conjugated. Now we conjugate the verb, which is we remove the da. So we have our stem, which is chong so ha. Mm, now we put it to informal high past tense. Informal high past tense. Mm, okay, so last vowel, or yeah, it's it's the last syllable is in ha. So we add. Your, your saw, right? Your saw, and so this is the past form of the informal low. Informal high is uh, we add in your, your saw yo. So the question is. Is that the correct past tense informal high respect ending? Yo so yo. Yo so yo. I think it is. And then we can merge. We can merge this together. I will do it behind that. I want to leave uh, both here. I, I put uh, Chong again. Chong so. Chong so. Uh, and we can merge it to He. Like this or like this? Like this, I think. He. He o. Yo. I'm not sure if that's correct, but okay. So that's what I think it can be merged together into. Okay, so that's what what I think. Yeah, that's my first first sentence right there. So let's see. Right now. Chonin, Chonin Pangur, Chonin Pangur, Chong So. Hey or yo. Okay, the subject of the sentence is I, so I can put Chonun here. Chonin. Again, I'm talking about a high respect, so this sentence is going to end in yo, and therefore I need to use the formal to to refer to me or I. The object of the sentence is the room. Again, there's no real way to say the in Korean, so you just need to indicate that it's a room. This could actually translate to I cleaned a room or I cleaned the room, and the context would have to make it clear. This is the object of the sentence, so I would put the object particle e on pan. And ah. now I need to add the verb to clean and in the past tense. The verb for to clean is... Okay, wait, let me fix it. So I put the wrong object particle. Yeah, that's the one if the syllable ends in a vowel, but I need to put this one. Okay. Is chong so hada. Chong, chong so, so hada. Ha, ta. However, I want to add the past tense conjugation to do this to it. And then I want to make it the informal high respect, which would end like this. This sentence would... Ah, uh, it get merged. Ah, uh, I, I, uh, wow, what I did, what did I do? So m my sentence is actually correct. So my non-merge form is correct, but my merge form is not correct. I I forgot the, <laughs> I just forgot the double S for no reason. Hey. Hey. Okay. Okay, I think it's pretty fine. Read. 저는 방을 청소했어요. 
The second sentence I would like you to try is I Chongso Hesoyo Hesoyo. Yeah, it, it sounded weird already when I when I put he o yo he o yo. It's he so yo. <sighs> okay, but still fine, still fine. So let's do the next one. Watched. I watched a movie. A movie. And again, I would like you to translate this using the conjugation of the informal high respect. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can see. Okay, informal high, I watched a movie. Okay, let's do it. Should be pretty easy, come on. Chonin. Chonin. Now we need movie. Not sure what movie means again. Ah, <sighs> movie, 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 movie. What does movie mean? Let me think a bit. Ah, Yongwa. Right, Shakito. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Yongwa. Yeah. Yeah, I have to think about the pr Korean pro gamers. Movie Yongwa. Of course. Uh, okay. Yongwa. Mm. Is it Yongwa or the Jongwa? That's what I'm not sure. Yongwa. So Yongwa would be Yong Hua like this or it's Jong Wow. Wow. Okay, one of those. I think it's actually the first one. It's really Yongwa. Right? Quick check. Yeah, oh, it's Yongwa. Nice. Okay, good. Okay. So, Chonin. Subject. I. Movie. Yongwa. Is the object so this time we have a vowel in the end so this time this is actually the correct particle and now we put the verb which is uh, watched watched is poda right po poda poda I think it's poda I, I will check just to be sure Poda. What? Wait. Poda? Poda? It's not Poda. To look at. Yeah, okay, okay, to look at. I was a bit confused because uh, it was more for very long and then it switched to, to look at. L let me confirm it on the lesson itself. Oda. Mm, to, 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 to listen, stop. Who has to watch, to wait, sleep, see, to see. Yeah, Poda, okay. So it's correct. It's correct. All, all good, all good. We are still in this. Still fine. So, poda. So that's the base form of the verb. Now I remove the da. Now we put it into past in form lai again. So, the last vowel in the stem is an o. So we need to add aso, asoyo, right? Asoyo. So let me do that. Asoyo. Like this. Asoyo. So I think that's the correct thing that you have to add to the stem. Asoyo. Asoyo. But now we also merge it. 
we merge it with the po. So it's like po soyo, po soyo. So let me, I, w I will this time, I will let me put the merge form. I think the merge form is actually the correct form. So let me put that in the beginning and the other one in the bracket. So this one is, uh, yeah, I will put this one into brackets, put it to the right, and now we put the merge form in. So, po, poasa, no, po, pos, posoyo, posoyo, poa, like this, poso. Posoyo. Posoyo. I think that's it. Posoyo. 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 Chonin Yongware. Posoyo. Posoyo, posoyo. Jonin Yongwar, posoyo. Let's see. Okay, this sentence is going to look very similar to this sentence up here. The only difference is, is I have a different object and a different verb, but both verbs are conjugated into the past tense and actually in the same formality. The subject of the sentence is to, and I add the subject particle. I'm going to talk about a movie, so I can put the object yonghua, which translates to movie. Again, in theory, the sentence that we create could translate to I watched the movie or I watched a movie. Uh, the context would have to make it clear on which one you're referring to or which one you would translate it to. In this case, this is the object of the sentence, so I want to add the object particle r, and I have to indicate the word for watched. Now, in English, I can say the word to look, to see, and to watch, and all of those basically are you using your eyes looking at something. The good thing about Korean is all of those words can be used uh, for the same verb in Korean, boda. and that verb is boda. And as I said, this tra this could translate to, to to see, to watch, or to look, and maybe even others that I'm not even thinking about right now. So that's the verb that I want to use here. However, I want to conjugate this into the past tense, so I'm going to add this to it. Nice. And then as I'm going to conjugate it in the informal high respect, I need to add this onto it as well. This sentence would read, The third sentence I would like you to try is... Yeah, okay, okay, so it's all correct, all, all perfect. But the pronunciation, he's not saying poa, he's just saying pa. There's no o, it's not poasoyo. It's not poasoyo, it's pasoyo. Let's listen again. As I'm going to conjugate it... In this onto it as well. This sentence would read, "Tonen yangwater paseo." Pas pasoyo, right? Pasoyo. There's no o in the first syllable of the verb. It's just pasoyo. That's interesting. So if you merge those vowels together. Sometimes it sounds different. I think we learned that in some lesson. Let me check lesson five. Was it here? Uh, no, that is not it. Ah, here, here. This one is what I mean. This here. So O and A is O. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, okay, it, it gets merged, but okay, there's nothing about the pronunciation. Ah, damn it, there's nothing about the pronunciation. Damn. Okay.
well but I still think it's it gets changed sometimes if you combine those two vowels after each other in some cases oa is va okay so Vasoyo. <laughs> Let, let's listen again. Conjugate it in the informal high respect. I need young water a paseo. This sentence would read, "Tonen young water a paseo." For me, it's he's just saying pasoyo. No, no W at all. But hi, red blue green. Yeah, hi. <laughs> but he's really only saying pasoyo. There's no W, no O in it at all. Onto it as well. This sentence would read: Tonen young water paseo, paseo, paseo. Young water paseo, young water paseo, young water paseo, young water paseo. Paseo, paseo. <sighs> It's hard, but okay. We, uh, at least we we were able to build a sentence without mistakes, so that's good. The pronunciation the is another topic, like but to try is let's continue. That car is slow, and I, I would like you to try to translate this using the informal low respect form. Okay, easy, right? Very easy. Always very easy in the beginning. So we put that car that car uh, let's pretend he he is uh, I guess pointing at the car so I, I use uh, chaw for that in this case so that car cho cha is a subject so cho cha nin cho Jo Chanin, Jo Chanin, and now we just need the adjective slow, which is Nori Norida, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's let me just double check. Ah. Nerdy da. Oh. <sighs> no. Rida. Okay, that's the one. Ah, man. Nerdy da. Dirty da. Okay, so now we have the base form for slow. Now we remove the da, we have the stem left over, and now we put it into present tense. Informal low. Okay, so present tense, informal low, we add a. Or or your, depending on the last vowel. The last vowel is e, so we add or or. And now we probably merge it. Rio, no, no, we can't merge it, right? Rio, Rio, no, you can you cannot merge it. No, no, no. Ah, 
I say that's it. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can go now. Yeah. Inform low. Yeah, I, okay, I will stay with that. The sentence is that car. I can write down the word for car, which is ta. And because that's the subject of the sentence, I can put the subject particle nun here. Now, if this sentence said the car is slow or a car is slow, as I said in these two sentences up here, I wouldn't really need to put anything here. And the context would make it clear whether or not you're talking about the car or a car. However, that car is something that you can say in Korean and specifically indicate that you're talking about that car. It's a little bit ambiguous in this case if you're talking about that car as in something that you're looking at from far away, or if you're talking about that car as referencing from a previous situation or a previous sentence. We did the I'll first. just assume that it's the latter one, and it's ku ta, and it's not oh. something that you're looking at, but to ta would also be possible as well, depending on yeah, well, which I will just type of car like you're that. talking about. And now you want to indicate that the car is slow. All you need to do here is use the adjective for to be slow, and you don't need to specifically translate is because this is contained in the Korean adjective, whatever I write. The word for to be slow is nurida. So I can start writing that and it would look nuri and I wouldn't I'm not gonna finish it because I need to add something to it. Uh, the informal low uh, honorific, what I would need to do is add this to it, and that's all. What? I, I can't read it. If I want to add this to this, this is the stem of nudida, I need to choose to add this one, and this is going to move ah. directly to the stem. Ah, it so was uh, A or O with a slash in between. <laughs> I was not able to read his handwriting there. It's going to look like this, nudida. Remember, if I add this... What? Not your ah e and all gets merged to your <sighs> where is it where is it there we go there we go there we go damn it I could man it's it's not super hard it's it's logical. Io, io, io. Io, if you say it faster, it's io, io. <sighs> Plus this. It so I will uh, again put this one in brackets because this is a, the unmerged form. Maybe I can add a plus as well. Let me add a plus. No idea where the plus is on the Korean keyboard layout or on the English one. Where's the plus on the English keyboard? I need to learn this. The plus is... I can't find it. Ah, okay, there. I, I see it. I see it. So it should be there. There we go. But this is not the correct place. Okay. Like this. No. Yeah. Come on. Okay, let's continue. Four. Actually turns into yo. So this is why this looks like nudio. This whole sentence would read kutanen nudio. The fourth sentence I would like you to try is I will go 
to the classroom. Future go classroom. And let's translate that using the formal high respect form. Formal high respect. 10 seconds and you can start now. Now. Okay. Cho chonin chonin uh, to the classroom. Kyo uh, kyo shil kyo shil kyo shil kyo shiler and Oh wait, wait! This is—is is this? Uh, do you need the the, the 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 place particle? That's what I'm asking here. Anyways, I will put the will go now. So it's a kada, kada. We remove the da. We add the future form, which is a kes. Which one is it? Is it this or is it this? I think it's this one. Uh, kes, kes simnida. Ka kes, ka kes simnida, ka kes simnida, ka kes simnida. Okay, can we merge? That's always the question. Can we merge? No, we never merge future forms. Right. Uh, yeah, so the question is, do we need the, 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 the place particle instead of the object particle? That's a big question here. Uh, sure. I would say you do. I think I'm not sure. We'll listen to it. I think you do. I think you need the place particle, so I, I I will change it. I will change it. So I think this is it. Let's see. Chonin. Okay, the subject of the sentence is I, so I will include this at the beginning. I want to indicate that I'm going to the classroom. So the classroom is Kyoshil. Kyoshil translates to classroom in, in English. Now, just so you know, if I trend, if I look at the hanja for this, Kyo refers to some sort of school thing, and Shil uh, refers to a room. So really, this is just school room. Well, and well, that's that's what a classroom is. Anytime I want to indicate that I go to a particular location or somebody goes to a particular location, you need to indicate that using the particle a. Nice. Now, I'm going to this place, so I need to use the verb kada. That's the stem of the verb kada. And I want to add the future tense conjugation to this. So I can add ketta or ket to indicate that it's in the future. And if I want to uh, do this with the formal high respect, in the most possible formal way that I can do it, I would have to add simnida to this. So in total, this looks, or this would read, The last okay. sentence I would like you to try All correct. is, nice. I met the principal in the morning. Oh, oh time. We need the time particle. So the same again. <laughs> okay, uh, which 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 conjugation? And let's also translate this using the formal high respect form. Formal high. Okay, formal high. Let's go. Cho. Chonin. So here, this is interesting. We need to think about. Wait, in the morning. In. I have no idea what in means in, in like timing wise. I know like in is an, but it's more like uh, location. Hmm. In the morning. Wait, didn't we have a sentence like in the evening last time? Uh, 
in. Okay, anyways, we, uh, what I want to say is... Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm thinking about where to put the in the morning. Should I put it before or after principle? Uh, I in the morning principle met. I principle in the morning met. I'm not quite sure. I will do it as our principal. Okay, so we put principal, which is uh, pure. Kyo, Kyo Chang, Son Seng Nim, Son Seng. Wait, what am I typing? What Son Seng? What? What? Not working. Okay. Okay, no. <laughs> Son Seng Nim. So, uh, oh, I, I put <laughs> two song now. S Seng, my, I mean. Okay. Kyo Chang, Son Seng Nim. Uh, we need the time particle, which is this one. Now we need in the morning. Morning is uh, A Chim. Do we need in? Maybe it's just correct like this. I will I will leave it like this. So met to meet is uh, uh, man nada. Man nada. We remove the da. We now we put it in the past form. Past formal high. Okay. We have the last vowel as is an a. So we add. At da and for the past form, so at da, but we we don't use da. We need as so. No, no, no. As simni da, because it's formal. Hi. As simni da. As simni da. Asimnida. Asimnida. Yeah, I think it looks good. So the question is Is the morning correct? The in the morning, is that correct or and in what position it is? Those are the two questions. So let's see. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start now. Uh, I will put it here above now. Chonin Kyo Chang Sonseng Nime. Okay, again, I'm going to start the sentence with Chonin. Okay. Now I want to indicate that I met, met would be the uh, the verb that's going to be at the end of the sentence, but I need to indicate that the object of the sentence is the principle, and I need to indicate that that happened in the morning. The word for morning in Korean is achim. Ah, we put and morning. In I before. mentioned earlier that you can use a to indicate the place that a person is going to, but a also acts to indicate the time in which okay. something happens. In this sentence, the morning is the time in which something happens, so I can add. Okay, so I put. Uh... The morning, a chim. Uh, a chim, I put it in front of the object. Okay. A to a chim. In Korean, it's ambiguous whether or not you're meeting the principle or meeting a principle. The context would always have to make it clear which one you're, which one you would translate it to. In this case, the word for principle in Korean is. 
Kyo. Again, there's the word. There's. Oh yeah, I made a total big mistake. So usually for the place for this a a a particle, we put it in a place when we want to go to a place. We put it after the object. But when we use it for time, the time. It's not the object. We don't need to put the a after the object. It's after the morning. Ah. Kyo, which is the same kyo as in this this kyo, because principal. So we need to put the a after morning, and we need the normal object particle. So, anyways. Also relates to a school. A school. Chang actually means big or leader or something like that. So you're talking about the school leader. And then Sun saying name actually means teacher. So really what this is, is the school leader teacher. That's why Kyojang Sun saying name means principal. That's the object of the sentence. Or in other words, that's the, the thing that I met or the, the person that I met. And therefore, I need to add the object particle e onto that. Now I want to indicate that I met this person and the word for met is manada manna that's the stem of manada and i want to add the past tense conjugation to that so it would look like that and now i want to do this into the formal high respect so i should add sunida to that this whole sentence okay man nasim Oh, of course you can merge it. Oh, I'm so bad right now. Holy shit. <sighs> Manna asimnida. <laughs> it's so obvious. <laughs> it's so obvious. Incredibly obvious. Oh, I put the uh, I am the wrong sim, by the way. Okay. Oh well. Yeah, I guess the rest is correct, but <laughs> there's not much rest left. Oh man. Okay, so about this morning and the, the time particle, I need to remember I put it in front of the object and I put the time particle after the, yeah, after the time, obviously. And then there's the normal object and then the verb. Okay. His rent writing is awful, by the way. Since <laughs> would read. I want to point out that this 아침에 and 교장 선생님 er, you could actually switch these two oh. here. I talked about sentence order more specifically in lesson 8, but it's also possible that you, that you could say 저는 교장 선생님 er, 아침에 만났습니다. Well, that was fun. I hope you learned a lot. Okay, so it, it was not super, super bad. <laughs> This part was actually, the order part was actually okay. Yeah. Okay, it's already very late. It's already 7 p.m. I really expected that we could do at least two videos, but here we finished the first one. And... It's already 7 p.m. Yeah, so next time we will go for this video. Here we, we only focus on conjugation, not on sentences. Okay. Maybe I should have done this first. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I can handle it. I, I think I can handle it. I just need to make to think more about the merging process. The merging, I did the most mistakes with. I don't merge correctly, or I forget to merge it at all. 
like completely. So I really need to take care of that merging. And I will do that when we when we are in our next session, which is tomorrow of course. Because today the stream is over, it's 7 p.m. So thank you guys for watching. I did a lot of mis mistakes. I hope to tomorrow it's better. So bye bye and annyeong.